Hey everybody, welcome to another video review. So I've done the wolf clan member and the bear clan member. And then a few weeks ago, I did the serpent clan um, leader. Did I say member? I meant leader. So I did the serpent, the wolf, and the bear. Uh, and now this is the last leader of them all. This is the raven clan leader from the board game Blood Rage, painted by Robert Carlson of Roglin Studios. Um, I love this one. This is one of the... Uh, most beautiful uh, leaders of all of them. You can look at the beautiful detailing. Look at his uh, face. You can actually see the, the white mustache, the eyes. Um, how Robert does it is beyond me, but that's why uh, he's a professional and does this for a living. You can see the glint of the, um, the axe edge, which he uses the non-metallic metal uh, style to do to bring it out. Um, so he's in a brilliant, uh, wonderful uh, blue color. A lot of shading and texture that hopefully the light can bring out. Um, so here he is. Just a lot of intricacies of the armor. You can see the buckles and he actually put, um, you know, he actually painted all the different details on the buckles, which is crazy. And then of course the sword, the pouches in the back. You can take a look at the shield and the cloak, very, very nice. The detailing of the boots, also uh, beautiful. So one of the nice things about these plastic miniatures is that you can tilt them, there's no weight to them at all. It's pretty funny on the customs form, uh, Robert put down what are these, and he just put down plastic figures, um, which is, so uh, <laughs> so far from the, the true reality of what this is. I mean, uh, this is as much a little plastic figure as one of my statues is a painted rock, right? I mean, technically that is true, but that's completely stripping away the artistic value of these pieces. So, you know, take a look at them, the metal shading and the metal effects on the armor. It's very beautiful. Now his totem pole is a uh, metallic raven uh, totem pole. Uh, the one that uh, Robert did for the master, he made it like a gold. And so for this one, just to change things up a little bit, um, he decided to paint it silvery platinum, I guess. Um, so it's a, a nice look, and it's a little bit different than what he's painted in the past. And I, I mean, he may correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that I'm the only other person that he's painted or agreed to paint the uh, Blood Rage miniatures for. Um, obviously, you know, his amazing work. I mean, Blood Rage is a very popular board game, first of all, from Cool Mini or not, CMON. Um, and I think it's their first one. Um, and you know, it was their most famous one. And so um, part of, you know, what made Blood Rage so amazing, along with the game design and um, the setting, the Viking setting, is, of course, Robert's paint job. He, he brought all of those miniatures to life. And I think quite a few people, you know, reached out to him, but he turned all of them down because obviously the, the project was just so massive. And so I think enough time passed, some distance passed, and, you know, he was willing to reconsider going back and, you know, painting a set again. And I think I'm the first one I think he actually agreed to. So um, that's pretty special. So I think this is the second one only that he's ever painted, to the best of my knowledge, at least, when I researched him. And so um, there you have it. This is the the Blood Rage Raven Clan leader. Um, pretty amazing, beautiful piece. So after this, I'm gonna put him together with the um, with the, the serpent, the bear, and the wolf, and just kind of see how all four clan leaders uh, together. So hopefully um, you'll enjoy that. That'll be the next video coming up. Okay, until then, take care.